ever since Kung Fu Panda 2 back in 2011. I couldn't wait for Kung Fu Panda 3 to release. It is 2016, January of 2016 when this film released. And all I gotta say is, is this worth five years of waiting and my opinion? Let's find out in my review for Kung Fu Panda 3. Skadoosh! What's up everybody? This is 22 Tiger Dude here. Okay, cool down Tony. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Kung Fu Panda 3. So Kung Fu Panda 3 is the third installment in the Kung Fu Panda trilogy. Well, until they make more of these, because I am hearing there's going to be more of these, but for now, it's a trilogy. And the film does have the voice talents of Jack Black, Brian Cranston, Dustin Hoffman, Angelina Jolie, J.K. Simmons, Jackie Chan, Seth Rogen, Lucy Liu, David Cross. Kate Hudson and James Hong. And Kung Fu Panda 3 is about when Poe's father finds Poe because they've been separated for many, many years. Poe goes to the Panda Village with his father and gets to meet the rest of his family because he thought he was the last kind, like the last panda living. But nope, that is not the case. But while Poe is busy reuniting with his family, a new threat by the name of Kai wants to steal the cheese of all the masters. So it's up to the Dragon Warrior, aka Poe, to go stop Kai. Going into Kung Fu Panda 3, I had a lot of hype going into this movie. And the fact that it did come out in January, you know, January 2016, that was not a problem with me at all. Originally, it was supposed to come out on December 23rd, 2015, and obviously because of Star Wars The Force Awakens, the movie ended up being delayed. But then it ended up being delayed to March of 2016. But then, obviously, we have Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. So basically, at this point, DreamWorks really had no other option. So they went to delaying for January 2016 which I think is a smart move. I adore and love the first two Kung Fu Panda movies. I love them so much. I think the original film is just a great introduction to this amazing world that DreamWorks has created and then the second film just took the storyline more further and darker and I love that. Although I will say I still do love the first film just a little more. I love what the second one did where even though it did have funny moments it did take itself seriously when it needed to and that's what made that such a great and memorable sequel in my opinion. And I can honestly say that after seeing Kung Fu Panda 3, it was worth the five year wait. I was so happy coming out of Kung Fu Panda 3. Now of course, my positives when it comes to Kung Fu Panda 3 is that everyone does an absolutely great job voicing in this film. You could tell that the cast had a great time just being in the studio, voicing their characters, and each of their voices really fit the personalities of the characters. They truly do bring these characters to life, and you could just feel the passion just behind their voices. Even though they do just use their regular voices, in a way it's like with the Pixar movie where their regular voice truly fits the character so well. Jack Black. I'm a huge fan of Jack Black. I love the guy. He's one of the most energetic actors working out there and he just always brings such a great presence to his films. Even if his films aren't great, he still brings out as much energy as he can and you can feel the energy when he voices Poe. He does a great job voicing Poe, the character, and he does a very believable job because we see that Poe is still the bumbling idiot that we love from the first two, but you know, he still manages to learn things that you would think he would learn by now, but no, he's still growing at least a little bit. 
and he's learning new things that he hasn't learned before as a dragon warrior, which I thought was really interesting. Dustin Hoffman continues to be great as Master Shifu. Angelina Jolie continues to be great as Tigress. And which, even though the Poe Tigress dynamic isn't really as big here compared to the first and especially the second, you do still get some of their back and forth. David Cross is still great as Crane. Seth Rogen is still awesome as Mantis. And he actually has more lines here, surprisingly. And I actually really like that since, you know, I really like Seth Rogen. Lucy Liu is still really great as Viper. And then you also have Jackie Chan as Monkey. Always really great to hear Jackie Chan's voice, even though out of all the Furious Five, Monkey seems to be getting the less lines, which is unfortunate because I really like hearing Jackie Chan's voice for the character. Brian Cranston was the perfect choice to voice Poe's father. Really enjoyed hearing his voice. He just brings so much personality to the character. Kind of funny how Brian Cranston has now been in two DreamWorks films and they were both third installments. Like he was Vitelli the Tiger in Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. And now he's in another third installment by DreamWorks, Kung Fu Panda 3 as Poe's father. So I thought that was a very interesting thing right there. And he was really great. James Hong is still great as Mr. Ping. And then I have to get to him, but J.K. Simmons as Kai was awesome. You can tell that every scene J.K. Simmons is in, he just brings that energy to the character. And Kai was just a very cool villain as I really like how he would be swinging around his knives and then he even gets his own theme whenever he appears. Brilliantly composed by Hans Zimmer. Of course, something DreamWorks Animation Studios is known for is the animation. And the animation in Kung Fu Panda 3 is definitely some of the best work from DreamWorks. When it comes to the Kung Fu Panda movies, their animation just looks breathtaking. It is so beautiful to look at. There's so much color and awe, and you just get to look at how much detail is in the animation. Hans Zimmer's score, as I just mentioned with the whole Kai thing, he composes the score for Kung Fu Panda 3 and he does a beautiful job composing the score. But by far my favorite score that played in the entire film in Kung Fu Panda 3 is actually a score called The Dragon Warrior. That was an amazing score and without spoiling anything, it plays in the final fight scene. That's where that score plays and it sounded so beautiful. And speaking of fight scenes, just like with the first two, the choreography is so badass. Seriously, these are animated movies and they have some of the best action scenes to ever be put in an animated movie. Great choreography, great shots, and I'm actually at the edge of my seat when an action scene is happening. It is just beautiful. As for the humor, I thought the film did a very great job with its humor. I thought it was very well written. A lot of the humor really hit for me. It was definitely one of the things that Kung Fu Panda is known for, just having really nice humor, just to make you laugh, but just to also make you smile so you could have that nice, cheerful feeling. There's not as much dramatic moments compared to Kung Fu Panda 2 where that film really did have more drama, but when the drama was there, I really did enjoy it. I just wish there was more of them. But for when there was there, I did really like the dramatic moments that were in Kung Fu Panda 3. I really did like the storyline between Poe and his father. I thought the dynamic between the two of them was just very funny, but it was also very sweet. And the film just has a very good message about just finding yourself, which yes, is the same message you can say about the first two movies. But even though it's pretty much the same thing here, I thought the message about just finding yourself and how it's about family. And that's something I give huge credit to the filmmakers for, just delivering such a beautiful message. There was a lot of passion to the storyline. It's very well written. The movie's very well executed. And there's just times where, honestly, 
I am really blown away by where this movie takes its story. However, there are some problems I do have with Kung Fu Panda 3, and one of the problems I did have with the film is that the humor does not always work, and you know, that's gonna be the case, like in the first film, a little bit of it didn't exactly work, and in the second film, you know, some of it felt a little bit forced, and that's pretty much the same here, where some of the humor does come off a little bit forced, it doesn't land as well, there's not too many misses, but whenever it is there, it just doesn't quite land in my opinion. Also, I was honestly underwhelmed by how underused the Furious Five are. I put to the side in this movie. I understand that they wanted to focus more on Poe and his father and him meeting his family for the first time. I get the story wanted to focus on that, but I wish the movie actually did something for the Furious Five to do because they really didn't have anything to do in this film, honestly. You now, the only one that has a little more to do here out of all of them is really Tigress, but everyone else is just really put to the side, and I wish the movie could have used them more to get involved because that's one of the things that made Kung Fu Panda 2 so great. I love that 2 was just the adventure with Poe and the Furious 5. The first film was about Shifu and Poe. Like, I felt like the first really focused on Poe and Shifu's dynamic the most. The second one focused on Poe and the Furious 5's dynamic the most, which I loved. And then clearly we have the third film where it focused on Poe and his families dynamic the most. So it's kind of interesting how each film has a different focus on who Poe has a dynamic with, but I just wish The Furious Five had more to do here because it's always cool to see them in action and really they're only in action for a couple of scenes. There are also parts where the pacing is very rushed in this film. I was still really enjoying the film from the start, but for the first 10 minutes, I was watching this film going. They could have really slowed down the pacing. And then there are a few moments when Poe's in the village with his family where the pacing does get rushed there too. Mr. Ping, I did feel like was out of character for the majority of this film because I really love Mr. Ping and I still do like him here. And sure, you can understand why because he's threatened by the fact that Poe's real father could take Poe away from him. So you do understand why, but because of how sweet he is, we're used to seeing him being so sweet in the first and second film, and then for the majority of the third film, he was just really jealous. It just felt a little out of place to me. Kate Hudson, she voices this character named Mei Mei, who originally was going to be voiced by Rebel Wilson, but she got replaced by Kate Hudson, in which... I was really happy with Kate Hudson being in this film, and you could tell she had fun. The problem is that, was there really any point to her character? I just really didn't see how she really served the storyline. She didn't have that many lines. Her character wasn't even in the film that much. So, you know, as much as I really enjoyed hearing Kate Hudson's character, I don't think the film would be any different if her character was taken out. And then the last problem I do have with Kung Fu Panda 3, and I would pretty much say this is maybe my biggest problem with the film, is just the fact that while the film did have dramatic moments, it wasn't as present as it was in Kung Fu Panda 2, in my opinion, and... I was hoping for more of those dramatic moments because when it was there, I was so engaged and, you know, I was moved by it. And then they feel the need to add comedy at the end of that dramatic moment, which would take away a lot of the emotional impact. And then it even leads to a finale, the final fight scene, which even though it was really cool and I was still at the edge of my seat, like I really was, I felt like that final fight scene could have been more epic if it didn't rely so much on comedy. I felt like if it was more dramatic and more powerful, the finale could have been twice as more epic. Overall, you guys, Kung Fu Panda 3, I will say this right now, I don't think it's as good as the first two. However, this film was still a joy to watch. It was just awesome to see Poe and the rest of the crew again. Definitely one of those films I really want to revisit because I just love being in this world again. And it makes for just a very overall awesome trilogy. And I'm going to give Kung Fu Panda 3, 3 out of 4 stars.
So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of Kung Fu Panda 3, and also, what's your favorite installment in the Kung Fu Panda trilogy, Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu Panda 2, or Kung Fu Panda 3. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!